Wiggle, wigglet, diglet, wigglet. <laughs> so unless you've been living under a rock for the last couple months, you've probably been super excited for the release of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, two games that will no doubt completely change the Pokemon landscape. And to build anticipation for the release of the new generation, Pokemon has been releasing promotional videos of newly introduced individual Pokemon. The goal is to hype up pre-existing fans to buy the new games. So far, 17 new Pokemon or variants have been released, all with quick two, three minute promotional videos depicting its design, its personality and quirks. Today, I want to talk about one of those Pokemon, Wiglet, yeah. which was just introduced a couple of weeks ago. This is big brain time. Now, Wiglet is a really interesting case because it was just released. So we don't actually know that much about it. But with that said, Wiglet has a few things going for it that I believe will make it a fan favorite. So let's hop right in and find out how Wiglet was marketed. First off, its design is clearly based off a of garden eel, a slender long eel that lives at the bottom of the Indo-Pacific Ocean. Its portrayal and design clearly depict this. One of the brilliant aspects of Pokemon is how well they are designed to match their real life counterparts. Garden eels live in burrows on the seafloor and get their name from their practice of extending their heads out of their burrows while most of their bodies remain hidden. As they tend to live in groups of up to a few hundred individuals, the many eel heads growing from the bottom of the sea resembles a plant garden, which is why they are called garden eels. Pokemon adopting this concept for Wiglet is super cool for a variety of reasons. First off, it's not a very well-known animal, which adds some mystery. Secondly, the designers previously experimented with this concept on Diglett and took note of the warm response. And finally, its typing and movement matches that of a garden eel perfectly. Speaking of Wiglet, it's also interesting to note that its Japanese name is Uma Deguda, which is a combination of the words Umi, Si, and Digda, which is the name for Diglett. So while the two Pokemon species might not be related in their biology, they might at the very least be related by name. But speaking of biology, it's important to discuss the conversion evolution that is at play here. This is when two independent species evolve in the same direction and thus independently acquire similar characteristics. For example, bats and birds, two different animal classes that both evolved wings separately. That brings us to the marketing brilliance behind Wiglet. Along with the early promotional content and great concept, the Pokemon company used a marketing trick known as familiarity to market Wiglet. Specifically using the convergent evolution theory, they created another version of Diglett, a Pokemon that many people have always liked and are very familiar with. The familiarity effect is why some big brands use product placement in films and on TV shows, spending millions to get their brand in front of viewers and, by association, project their brand as valuable or cool. Think of the familiarity effect as a mental shortcut for decision making. If you already like Diglett and the Pokemon company makes a mod that looks very similar to Diglett, your brain will automatically associate the two in some way and lead to you liking Wiglet as well. Now that is not always the case, as the Pokemon still has to be designed well. Sorry, Lolan Diglett. But it works well in this case, which is very much so for Wiglet. Together, the familiarity bias, its design, and its lore did their job, as these strategies got people talking. YouTube videos like this one have been made further discussing and promoting Wiglet. Blogs have been posted theorizing how good it will be competitively. Memes and comments have already flooded the internet talking about things like its design, its shape, its color, the convergent evolution, and on and on and on. So to me, to me personally, this is marketing at its finest. 